Hi everyone, welcome back again. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to send emails in Django using Google's SMTP and this works 100% of the times. So I've tried it several times. My friends have tried it several times and it works. Understand? So right, I'm going to head over to my code base now. So here's my code. I'm going to go down to my I'm going to go down to my settings.py. So this code is all about this code is all about is all about email email verification in Django using OTP. But I'm going to show you the email sending configuration parts. You understand? So I'm going to go down to my settings.py, which is over here. Okay, so I'll scroll down to the bottom where I have my email configuration set up. So why is the email configuration? Understand? So these are the goals here. So you have, first of all, you have your email backend, your email hosts, your email ports. All this must be the same. So you come down to your email user, your email host user. This is the sender's email address. So this is my email address. And then we have the host password. I'm going to show you how this password is being generated right now. Just give me a second. So after you've after you've had the host password, you make sure you have this email use TLS equal true and email use SSL equal false. Once you've done this now, all these things, all this, only these two can only line one to two and line one to the two are meant to be different. But all other parts here are meant to be the same thing. So this is your this is the sender's email. So right now I'm going to show you how to generate this host password. So I'm going to go down to my Gmail account, which is this now. So click on the icon. This is usually your profile picture, right? Your profile picture is always is always meant to be here, but currently I don't I don't have my there. So click on it. Once clicked on it now, click on manage your Google accounts, click on that. Okay, so it's done loading. So once you're here already, I go down to security, click on security. So I'm going to show you how to generate this host password. You get so click on security now. Once you're done, make sure you scroll down. Make sure you have two-step verif make sure you have your two-step verification turned on. Make sure it is turned on. Once it is turned on, so the next step is this now. Come on, come up to the search bar here and search for app password. App password. Click on it. This is it here. App password. So, so right now, I want to create an app password. Just something like this, right? So over here. Okay, now. So I'm going to log into my account right away. So. So right now, I'm logged in. I'm logged in now and I've been brought down to the app password page now. So you can see I have some other I have some app password here already. So I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna call it tests. And once I click on once I write test, I click on the create button. So you can see we have a new app password here. Just copy this. Ctrl C. And I'm gonna come down here now and paste it here. So I just made a new app password, right? Paste that here instead. So once we've done that now. Your email configuration settings is done, is working, is done now. So the next thing now is to start sending out your emails. So you go down to Django documentation over here. Django has a simple way of sending your emails. You can see to send emails very easy. Just import the send me function and over here you can pass in your email credentials and then send the emails. Instance for me here, yeah, I have a simple application that whenever a user signs up. The user is not meant to log in until the user has verified his or her email address instance. So how do you verify this email is through your OTP. So once the user logs in and OTP is sent to this user's email, understand this user is meant to pass in the email into the website. And mind you, this OTP expires every five minutes. So I'm going to show you everything right now. So over here, yeah, so already have the email configuration done. Understand? So right now in the code base so over here i am sending an email i'm going to reduce this font so you can see this clearly so right now whenever a user signs up we send them a verification email which, which is over here so i'm going to i'm going to prove this to you right now okay so over here now so now right now right now i want to show you that this email configuration is working i want to show you i want to prove that to you right away so we have to send email we have a send mail function here that sends the email you get these are the credentials that was passed into the send mail function, right? So now I want to send an email whenever a user signs up. I want to send this user the OTP code to verify the email address, right? So let's just prove that. To, let's prove that now. So over here, this is our sign up form. I'm going to just refresh the page. Okay, now I'm going to put on this email. So I'm going to load. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, you're just putting code 360 as, a, as the username. 
and then the password should be just this so as I click on register that's yeah, so right now the user's account has been created right away you can see it says here account created successfully and OTP will send to your email right so we're going to check the email address right now so I have the email open there which I think is this one you understand so this should be it yeah this is it over here so I'm going to so now right now an email was just sent currently is 726 so I'm going to click open this and I can see because this is the message over here you say I could 360 this is your OTP so I'm just going to copy this copy this OTP and we can go back to the website through this through this URL and then impute the OTP code just impute it there paste it and activate account you can see your account have been your account have been activated successfully you can then log in this time so you can see now right now it says it's right now it says you can log in right I'm gonna put in the email address and the password so you can log in and see if everything is working as we planned Right now it says I could I could twist this you're not logged in the So the email communicate right now because the email configuration is working perfectly. What we what we, what, what we have here in the of Pi Fi. This is what this is all you need for it to make sure your email works perfectly. You get so once you have this configured, it's gonna work perfectly in the sense. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to verify email addresses using OTP. And mind you, this is our OTP expires every five minutes instance. So it expires every five minutes. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to build an email an email verification system using OTP that expires every five minutes. So for it to not miss that video, make sure you are subscribed now. So when I'm so when, so, so, so when I publish the next video, you're not gonna miss out on it. So thank you for watching this video. And we're going to see in the next video. So stay blessed and bye-bye.